Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Whichever time you are watching my channel, welcome. I have a special guest with me today, and this is Tristan, my grand. He was making a whole lot of noise, and I had to keep uh, doing a uh, retake over and over again. So I thought I might want to invite him, you know, to the video. Let's see how long it'll last. Okay. I went to the store with my husband today. We were not trying to stay out all night, but, well, I said we were trying to get back before night, but it didn't work out. So, it is, what is it, after 12? So, I'm going to try to get this video done and hopefully show you some hidden clearances mm. from Walmart. Mm. Yes. Feel like we're going to do this video. First place I stopped at was Aldi's. And guess what I found, y'all? Yes, I found this. Huntington Home Black Currant and Elderflower. I don't know what an elderflower is, but I'm assuming it is that on the label. And it smells, it smells like blueberry or something. So anyway, we're going to try this candle out. And I want to show you this too. Something you might want to be aware of when you purchase a candle. Something I found out the hard way. This is one of the other um, candles I got. My husband liked this. This is not on my list though. But see how that wick is? And how it looked like it evenly burned? Some of the other candles that I got during certain times were not... The wick was not evenly spread out in the uh, wax. So this one, I'm hoping will burn evenly. I wanted to get more than one, but did not get it because I saw that they were not evenly spread apart. And their candles are normally, oh, I got the wrong thing, y'all. Their candles are normally spread apart I'm not spread apart, y'all. But their candles are, I think it's $3.99 for their candles. And I thought I had the, anyway, I thought I had the receipt on top of everything. But I guess I didn't have it all together, y'all. Um, one of the other, and I had a return. And I know before when I went to all these, they, if you had a return or anything, they would give you the money, money back equal to the amount that you spent on that product, plus give you another, you know, product of the same, whatever. But when I went back this time, they just gave me the difference because the um, nuts I took back were not good. Um, they were hard this time. And usually when I go to Aldi, their, uh, I got the cocoa, the um, almond um, cocoa, the cocoa covered almonds, and they are usually um, a powdery form, but this time it was hard and like it was caramelized or something. And I was trying to get another one and hopefully it wasn't gonna be like that. But those things was trying to break my teeth and I took them homeboys back. I hope that that wasn't, I hope that's not a new way that they're uh, making their almonds because I guess I won't be buying those anymore. Okay, I exchanged it for this. And this is the pistachio um, roasted. And that is unsalted. I like my nuts unsalted. I do not like salt on them. If I'm trying to eat healthy, why do I need all that salt on it? Don't help a bit. So anyway, they gave me the difference, if you can see here. They gave me the difference for my purchase. Mm-hmm, you let the pacifier fall out. They gave me the difference, and I was fine with that, and I did not have my receipt, so I am grateful. Um, one of the other places I stopped at was Big Lots, and let me show you what I got. They have free, and you can see what I purchased and what my total was. Sorry, it's wet here. I'm in the bathroom. I guess something got wet on me. And they had the cranberry juice, but they, they didn't have any more. So 
I am glad that they still offered something free to their value customers and it was another pack of these. So I was able to get two. My husband got his and I got mine. And who don't need these right now? So I got two of them in exchange for the cranberry juice that they had this week for free. And all you have to do is sign up on their website. Okay. And last but not least, I went to Walmart. I went and got me another one of these, the Shiny Jam for twisting my hair, braids, or whatever you want to use it for. Um, and the level of the hold is a six. But I like the way that it worked on my daughter's Hair. and I have two that I did their hair and it showed it looked really nice on their hair so and I used it in mine but mine is an old style so anyway and I got that and that was the shiny jam was four dollars and ninety eight cents so the last thing that I got was this is a soap that was um, introduced to my daughters, my daughter for her to use for her sensitive skin. And so far, this is okay for all of us. And we're trying to get something that has a decent pH balance, I guess, for, um, you know, the females, for us, that won't irritate us or anything. So, so far, this soap is okay. And I get this from the beauty area. And where they have these, um, I think it's like creams and things like that. Like um, moisturizers is in that area. So um, it's not in the soap area. And this is pretty good on our skin and doesn't cause any irritants. Um, that's it. I guess that's it for my video. And I'm going to try and... Um, put my hidden clearances for Walmart at the end of this. So you all be blessed. Stay safe. Do what you need to do so you can continue to watch my videos and I can continue to see hopefully some comments, see some thumbs up, and just enjoy the rest of your weekend, y'all. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. You want to say bye-bye? Wanna say bye-bye? He's saying bye-bye, but it's a low bye-bye. There you go. Bye.